Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the session on Spring Boot Task Scheduling. In this session, I am going to explain how you can schedule the tasks using the Spring Boot application. Let's go ahead and start. Here we are going to follow using the Spring Initializer because if you don't follow this uh, website, then what is going to happen is you have to create a Gradle project and all the dependency you have to manually add it. That is the reason Spring Boot framework comes with a Spring Initializer where you can choose which type of project you want, like a which type of uh, um, build tool you want and what is the Java version along with the Spring Boot version. And also you can configure here what are the dependencies which is required for your uh, Spring Boot application so that the skeleton of the project automatically it will comes by adding all these dependencies. So for this uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Gradle project and the group ID I am giving as com.sivajavatiki.springboot and uh, for working with the scheduling task, we don't require any dependencies here. And the artifact ID we have give, I have given as a Spring Scheduler. And now click on the Generate Project. Now this is going to generate a project with the um, skeleton by passing all these dependencies. And once you have downloaded this um, GIF file, extract it to any, any one of your local computer drive. So I have copied it here. And this is the um, skeleton of this project. And uh, then you need to import this Eclipse, uh, this particular project into Eclipse. Now I already downloaded and uh, extracted and imported into my Eclipse. If you want to import, right click, import, and select like a Gradle. If you don't include, uh, if we don't add the Gradle plugin to the Eclipse, then first you need to add the Gradle plugin, and then please continue with this video, and then click next. It will ask for you to give the path where you have downloaded this particular uh, Spring Boot application and then click finish. Now I already downloaded. So if we see the structure of this um, project, this is the hierarchy. And if you see the build.gradle, it automatically adds the all the dependencies which are required for this project. And then if you go to the SRC main, by default, it will have the Spring Scheduler application uh, basically it has the name now the next step what we need to do is um for now let us consider the for the demo i added this one but by default you are going to see with this um structure after that in order to work with the scheduling what we need to do is we need to just add the annotation enable scheduling annotation now when you add this annotation spring con spring boot containers knows that there are some scheduled tasks are available in this particular application. Now let us go ahead and create a one scheduler. So new class and let us give as task scheduler. Click finish. And first we need to in order to identify the Spring Boot. This has a com, uh, this is a configuration item. Just we need to add the at the rate of component. And in this, we are going to add one method. So public wide task scheduling. And system.out.println welcome to task scheduling. And just to print the time so that we can we can see different ways we can schedule the task we will see there new java dot util util dot date okay so now we have um, added one component at the class level and here we can add the annotation scheduled and a schedule is basically takes different parameters. First one, let us look for the fixed rate. So whenever you provide this option fixed rate, it is going to take the in a long value with the uh, milliseconds. So let us consider if I want to run every five seconds. So I'm going to provide the value as 5000. Now every five seconds, this task will be scheduled and it will run. Now, in order to run this application, right click, run as Java application. Now, 
Okay, so now what happens is the task, whatever we have provided, this will run each five seconds. Now Tomcat is starting and then it will deploy the application. Then the scheduler will start. If you see here, every five seconds, the task got scheduled and every five seconds it is running. Now let us go ahead to this method again and let us see it will accept another parameter that is initial delay. If I say initial delay five, um, again it is going to take in a millisecond. So if I say 5000, first it will wait for the five seconds and then after that every five seconds this thread will basically it will, the task will be scheduled. Now let us go ahead and run once again. Run as Java application. Now, actually, if you see here, the um, thread has started. Uh, Spring scheduler application has started at the 12:15:17. But what happens is it waited for the five initial as we provided the initial delay. It waited for the five seconds and then after the onwards it has each time it has five seconds it is again scheduling. So that is the importance of initial delay. Okay, so similarly we have another property that is fixed delay. So fixed delay is nothing but for the first time and second time run how much delay it has to happen example if I say um, the 10,000 that means every 10 seconds it is so let me remove these two um, properties and let us run this application again so fixed delay is nothing but the delay between the first run and the second run is going to be exactly the 10 seconds Okay, so now it has started with the 12.51.32 it has started and it is going to wait for exactly 10 seconds. So here it has waited for the 10 seconds. Okay, so this is how it is going to work for the fixed delay. Okay, so similarly fixed delay we have seen uh, fixed rate and uh, fixed delay we have seen and if we for example um, let us consider this requirement is not satisfying your requirement like a fix, uh, fixed delay of one minute or the one hour. If we don't have this, uh, this type of things, it is uh, you are unable to uh, satisfy your uh, particular requirement. Then we have a, another feature called as a crone. So by using the crone jobs, you can schedule based on your timings. So either it might be every minute, every hour, every day or patterns between the some time you can go ahead and schedule it so in order to do that what we need to do is so it is going to accept a another uh, schedule let us say it is a schedule and then um, it will accept the parameters a crone crone in this basically it is going to have the um, pattern of six um, elements star Sorry, star. So first one is going to represents the seconds. The second one is represents the minutes. Third one represents the hours. And like this, you will have the different uh, um, different. This is a basically a pattern. So you need to provide a basically some pattern so that based on that it is going to run for example if you want to run top of every hour of every day then you can specify like a zero zero if you specify this way then what happens is this task will be scheduled and it is going to run 
top of every hour of every day. Okay, for example, if you want to run for the each 10 seconds, then what you can do is um, star by 10 and then you can say this one star. Now this is going to run for every 10 seconds. So let us go ahead and run this program once again and see whether that is working properly or not. Okay, if you see here, it has started the scheduling at June 22nd, 12.50, and after that, again, it has to start at the 50. So, now the scheduling task actually running for every 10 seconds. Now, let us consider, you want to run between some time. For example, here, this is the seconds, this is the minutes, this is the hours. Next one is the day and then month and then year. Okay, so these six stars represents each one has the one significance. Now, for example, if you want to run any task between 8 and 9, then you can specify like this. So, for example, 8 to 10, 8 to 10, then you can specify. That, that means what? Every day it is going to run the task between 8 and 10 every day okay and this way you can provide like a what is the pattern you want to follow so you need to prepare the pattern and based on that the scheduled job will run okay so for example this is 8 to um, 8 to 10 we have given for example let us consider you want to run on the um date is christmas and month is 12 and now if you say here right every every year every year basically every christmas midnight it is going to run this particular schedule okay so this is how basically you can provide the uh, scron pattern so that based on this uh, cron matches whatever the expression uh, expression it is going to schedule your job and it will run hope you clear with the how you can schedule the jobs in um, spring boot application thanks for watching have a nice day